2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A beautiful look at the lights of Salt Lake City. Our setting for tonight's broadcast. Hi everyone and welcome to the NBA on Thursday night. We're bringing it to you live here on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Thanks, B.A. Mike Conley re-signing with the Jazz. He talked to me about it. He said, they got me. My wife and I love it here. I don't think I can go anywhere else that plays the way we play. It's been so much fun being a part of a team that is so unique. And guys, after 12 seasons in Memphis, Conley has made Utah home. And he's made their team better, Allie, no doubt about it. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You take a look at Utah, sitting fourth in the conference early on and looking to move into that top tier. Checking out Utah, they're not in any danger of a slow start in position right now to challenge for a top seed this season. And that was their stated goal as a team coming into this season. Getting going in a hurry. Not wasting any time establishing themselves as one of the conference's top teams. So the Raptors starting five. And Anobi the three with Siakam at the four. Malachi Flynn out there with Gary Trent. And it's Achua in at the center position, filling out the middle. And for Utah, the backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Royce O'Neal is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. And a new rookie class to watch here early in the season, Grant. How long should we wait to evaluate a rookie's play, you think? Well, B.A., I think you have to give them a pass their whole first year. It just takes a minute to adjust and acclimate. And a lot depends on the age of the rookie as well. And that's a foul called on OG Ananobi. That's his first foul. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Pass to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Here's Bogdanovich. He can't hit that time. See Occam with the defensive effort. In this era of stretch bigs, many traditional centers have struggled. But Rudy Gobert just continues to thrive at both ends. You know Rudy Gobert, the three-time defensive player of the year, is not satisfied. I think the seven-footer has one more that he might add before his career is done. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And the list of big men with multiple awards for Defensive Player of the Year. Hakeem, Matumbo, Ben Wallace, Dwight Howard, don't forget about Rodman, and Rudy Gobert. That's historic company, B.A. I think Gobert is, honestly, underappreciated. One of the all-time greats when it comes to locking up. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. And I know one thing drives Rudy Gobert is earning his respect. All-star snubs. People counting his money. He's determined to have the final word. First team foul. Smith, you talk about Gobert. He's motivated by his doubters. He wears that number 27, signifying his draft position back in 2013. And listen to this. Even in the 2021 All-Star game, he and teammate Donovan Mitchell were their last two picks. Whatever the reason, he knows people will respect a champion. That free throw, no good.
And the second free throw is good. And even though his offense continues to develop, Grant, Ananobi's defense may be his most important contribution to this team. He has what I call positional versatility. He has great length, and he's light on his feet. And he doesn't have to gamble to be disruptive. Now here's Mitchell. 33 points last game. Outside Bogdanovich. They get it again. Mitchell's shot is good. Don't you love it when Donovan Mitchell throws himself on the offensive glass, putting his athleticism to great use. Pass to Achua. Back to Flynn. Siakam, the pass to Ananobi. Here's Flynn. In his last outing, eight points for him. And too long on the shot. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Outside Conley. Back to Mitchell. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Just look at the way Mitchell's built. The strength in the upper body. Trent outside. Adanobi passes to Trent. To the left wing. Here's Siakam. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Well, it's a make or miss lead. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. And here's Conley. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. The three from Mitchell. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Mitchell's got seven. On the catch and shoot, Donovan Mitchell looks automatic. He gets his shot up quickly. Pass to Trent. Here's Flynn. Now Trent, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Still looking to get their offense in gear. 0 for 3 to start this game. Bogdanovich down low, working on Siakam. And it's going to be out of bounds with the Jazz retaining possession. Nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. And here in the first, about three minutes in. They get it back. Here's Gobert. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. That's a signature move by Gobert. The length allows him to do what others can't. Here's Flynn. Pass to Ananobi. Up and over Conley. And again, Toronto, no good. Here's Utah. Right now on a 9-0 run. Here's Mitchell. Oh, Siakam with the block. The massive wingspan of Pascal Siakam. An aggressive defender who uses his physical advantages to stifle shooters. Mitchell against Trent. Back to Bogdanovich. Shoots over Siakam. And it's Bogdanovich that time on the assist by Mitchell. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. Timeout called the Raptors. This game against Utah, the first time they've met this year. It's really hard to know what to expect when teams play only twice a year. It makes it a bit of a mystery. The balance between East and West after years of being dominated by the West is starting to even out some.
Here's Flynn. He's guarded by Conley. Bogdanovich against Siakam. To stop the drought. And he takes it up and lays it in. That breaks their string of misses. Now one for five. You can feel their sense of relief. Conley passes to Gobert. Back to Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Bogdanovich. Fires in the triple. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Trent from long range. Drills it from deep. And you have to credit Ananobi. He's put in the work to become a better playmaker. Utah has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Conley passes to Gobert. And the foul on Gary Trent. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Conley. He's covered closely. Shot's blocked. And now the Raptors on the break. Here's Achua. Oh, what a play. It's snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Outside Conley. Here's O'Neal from downtown. And Ananobi pulls it down. Trent on the wing. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. You know, that was an excellent play right there. Using his strength to power through contact. Gary Trent Jr. Shooting one. Utah leading. Conley passes to Gobert. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Pass to Siakam. To the inside. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Here's Flynn. Five to shoot. And here's the Chua. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got five rebounds in the game. Mitchell with the ball. Driving to the basket. Blocked! They recover it. The second effort. Achua with the rebound. Toronto has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. And the basket by Trent. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. For Utah, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Pass to O'Neal. Achua against Gobert. Outside Conley. Here's O'Neal. Bogdanovich with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up. From deep, Conley got a piece of it, and they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. A different look for Utah. Hassan Whiteside, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich, and it's Ingles in for O'Neal. And Toronto has possession, trailing by four. Pass to Mikhailuk. Now Birch. Count it. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Utah's gone two of five from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Conley passes to Ingles. Right side against Birch. Pass to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Good with time running down on the 
Shot clock. Mitchell's got nine points. When the shot clock is dwindling and down, it's on you, Donovan Mitchell. Make a play. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. Now here's Barnes. In his last outing, 16 points for him. Now here's Conley. Pass to Whiteside. Back to Conley. Outside Mitchell. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell, at this point, is a better outside shooter. Wade, a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade, but Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. Oni, he's checked in for Conley. Here's Ingles. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Mitchell drives in. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Jazz lead by four. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Pass to Watanabe. Outside Barnes. Again, the Raptors. Good for two more. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Barnes against Mitchell. Gay with the ball. 13 feet out. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Boy, I'll tell you, from mid-range, Rudy's shot mechanics look effortless. Here's Flynn. Birch, high post. Whiteside on him. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Whiteside. Now here's Gay. The D's right on him. Pass to Whiteside. On the wing, Mitchell. Clock at six. Over Birch. Here's Whiteside. And it's slammed in by Whiteside. Are you serious? Whiteside doing major damage on the offensive glass. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Now here's Birch. Pass to Barnes. Here's Watanabe. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Birch. And the shot goes down. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Utah has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Ingles. Here's Oni. Back to Mitchell. This one for 3. And there's the foul. It'll go on Rudy Gay. That's his first foul. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Pascal, he's checked in for Whiteside. Pascal. Toronto trailing. Here's Flynn. And there's the foul. It's on Eric Pascal. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. One sixteen left to play in the first quarter. Down low. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has gotten his third basket of the night. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now here's Gay. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. Here's Mikhailuk. Count it. One for one to start the game. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Mitchell, the pass to Pascal. And here is Ingles. Pulls it from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Jazz lead by five. And they're just staying with possessions on the offensive glass and getting rewarded for it. You have to love the hustle. 
Here's Barnes, and he banks in the layup. Barnes has got eight points. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Outside Mitchell. The shot off that time. Well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. It's the Jazz leading by three. And we'll be back with you shortly. Well, you talk about those players who have been in the grind. The undrafted scrapper Royce O'Neal takes pride in his story. Thinking back from where I started, you know, overseas, summer camps, mini camps, to where I am now, you know, just an honor to be in the position that I am. I'm grateful for the opportunity, so, you know, I can tell my story to the younger kids. Just the journey, never give up. Boy, Grant, O'Neal, such a competitor. Oh, I love this kid. A 6'4", small forward, but as hard as he plays, you don't hear much about him being undersized. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. So the Raptors five right now. We've got Chris Boucher. Also, Barnes out there. Kim Birch is out there with Malachi Flynn. And it's Makai Luke in at the two. Now here's Boucher. Here's Makai Luke. Perfect night so far. Two yeah, for two. Mark and Smitty, there are plenty of good teams in the league. Not many great teams, though. How do you define that, partner? Do you have to win a title to be great? No, I don't think so, B.A. Obviously, championships matter. But I think being consistent. Look at the Steve Nash Suns, teams that have competed for titles over a sustained period. You have to take pride in that, too. It's stolen by Barnes. Fast break. Here we go. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Pass to Ingles. To the middle. And Pascal gets it to go on the assist by Mitchell. Mitchell's got four assists now tonight. Here's Mikhailu. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That'll be on Eric Pascal. First team foul. At the line for the Raptors. Vyadislav McKenzie. Two shots. Two shots. And he drops the first. A different look for Utah. Gobert's checked in for Gay. Bogdanovich comes in for Ingles. And it's O'Neal in for Mitchell. No good on the second free throw. Utah has gone three of six from deep so far. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Oni. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Toronto. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. I also like what they've done on the fast break in their first two. half tonight. They're taking it to them. The first free throw is good.
Both good from the line that time. For Toronto, they've gone three of three to begin the second. Four three. He buries it from three. Give him eight. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Pass to Gobert. Outside Bogdanovich. Drives to the hoop. Oh, nice D from Ananobi. The Raptors have gotten off to a perfect four for four start in the second. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's Mikhailuk. And it's off from three point range. Utah trailing here. Inside. It's stolen by Trent. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Mikhailuk. Give him eight. Back to Ananobi. To the paint. And the basket by Mikhailuk. And now it's a four point Toronto lead. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Here's Oni, covered by Boucher. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Mikhailuk. Back to Ananobi. Tries again. And Achua with a lay-in. And the Raptors lead by six. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's Honey. And an OB covering. Pass to Bogdanovich. To halt the run. On target from range. Bogdanovich has got eight. One of the main weapons Bogdanovich brings. A dead-eyed three-point shooter with impressive range. And the wrist injury for Boyan Bogdanovich set him back a little in recent seasons. Remember, he had surgery in 2020 and slowly returning to form now. And he makes them better. I mean, great skill level with size. A floor spacer who can also create his own shot off the bounce. Look at Bogdanovich getting physical. Works hard to get the shot off and the foul. the line for the Jazz. Boya Bogdanovich taking two shots. Shooting two. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. Well, he started out as a pure shooter. Bogdanovich has worked hard to become a threat off the bounce and a strong finisher. The Jazz making a switch here. Conley's checked in. And Toronto also making a switch. Siakam's checked in. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Trent outside. Pass to Mikhailuk. Now Achua. Here's Mikhailuk. Five on the clock. They grab their own miss. Achua with the double. And B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. And here's Siakam. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Conley. That three's off the mark. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. Pass to Bogdanovich. Let's go with a three. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Bogdanovich has got eight points in the quarter. Trent outside. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Conley. Siakam with it. And Anobi with it. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. 
they just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now Conley. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second. Precious Chua picks one up. How about that from Conley? The little guy taking it inside and forcing the issue. And after 14 years in the NBA, Mike Conley finally an all-star in 2021. And he richly deserved it. A three-time Joe Dumars trophy winner for sportsmanship. Like yours truly. I mean, he does it the right way. First free throw is good. And I think when you say Mike Conley All-Star, now it's official. <laughs> yeah, you're right, B.A. I mean, because you talk about the respect he has around this league. He's always been viewed in that light. A key part to that grit and grind era there in Memphis. And now he's writing a superb second act. Whiteside, he's checked in for Utah. And Conley drops them both. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Trent outside. No good on the three. The Jazz have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Here's O'Neal. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Toronto has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Ananobi. And it's Toronto OG with another. Ananobi. What I like about OG Ananobi for a young player, he's not pushing to do more than they want him to do. Pass to Bogdanovich. From 15 feet away. And that one good. Bogdanovich has got 15. A steady start has turned into a spectacular second quarter for him. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Conley. Here's Mikhailuk. Trent outside. Wide open. And that one off the back of the rim and in. He's got 11. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Pass to Bogdanovich. Right side against Siakam. Outside Bogdanovich. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Here's Mikhailuk. Ten points for him. Drops in the three. And the Raptors lead by one. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Pass to Whiteside. Stolen by Siakam. On the break. Trent, the pass to Siakam. Trent finds Siakam. Bearing his second of three attempts. Physicality is no problem for Siakam. He pushes off the contact and gets it to go. Outside Conley. Sinks that one from the post. Conley's gotten his second bucket of the game. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Timeout called. The Raptors. They're coming off that loss against Portland. Well, you know when your percentage from the field is in the low 30s, that means the game is not going your way. They couldn't hit a thing out there. With that awful shooting percentage, you will be lucky to win one game in this league.
different look for Utah. Gaze checked in for Pascal. Ingles comes in for Bogdanovich. And Donovan Mitchell is subbed in for O'Neal. Here's Flynn. He's guarded by Conley. Pass to Birch. Now Siakam. Shot clock at six. Puts it up from 12. That one no good. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Gay with the ball. Siakam covering. Here's Flynn. Driving in. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Flynn's got his second bucket on the night. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Pass to Conley. From deep, Utah gets it back. Nice shot by Whiteside. Whiteside's got his third bucket of the night. That's where you level up. Whiteside imposing his will in deep. Ingles against Barnes. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Raptors make it a change here. Aranabi's checked in. Scotty Barnes. One shot. throw good from Barnes 146 left to play in the half Conley with the ball he's got six pass to Mitchell to the inside here's Whiteside that one falls nice set up by Mitchell Mitchell's got assist number five here tonight this is where you want Whiteside finishing. In close where he can use his strength and physicality. Now here's Birch. Providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. A minute four left in the second. On the wing, Mitchell. 14 points for him. Toronto's gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Out of, Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Oni's checked in. Fifty seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Mitchell against Birch. Ingles from outside. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. The silent assassin, Ingles, continues to do his job and does it at a high level. Inside. Now here's Trent. He's closely guarded. And there's a three-second violation. Boucher's checked in for Trent. substitution. First, Boucher. Utah's gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Now here's Mitchell. A great score, averaging almost 26 a game. Here's the three. Here's Whiteside. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Whiteside's got six here in the quarter. The interior, this is where you want to get Whiteside the basketball. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Jazz up one. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm joined now by Coach Quinn Snyder, and they were giving you some trouble in transition. How do you slow them down? 
Well, I think we had a couple early where we were in good positions. We just didn't make the right read, and that's the biggest thing. But more than anything, whether it's a make or a miss or a turnover, we just got to really sprint back and be urgent. The sense of urgency is key. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. I'll tell you, one guy who's been getting it done is Boyan Bogdanovich. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the three. That's the five to begin the second half for Quinn Snyder. Flynn. Offline with a three. Utah leading. Here's O'Neal. And he gets that one. O'Neal's got his second basket on the night. That's a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. Undrafted out of Baylor, Royce O'Neal spent two seasons abroad before making it to the NBA, B.A. The way he's playing now, he'll be in this league for a long time. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Utah has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. And O'Neal finding success as a prototype 3 and D player. Accurate from outside, and he's a pest on D. He's elite defensively, has strong, long arms, but it's his motor that truly sets him apart. Now here's Bogdanovich over Trent. And the Jazz tack on two more. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Toronto has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Achua. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Rudy Gobert picks one up. First team foul. Shooting for Toronto. Precious Achua at the line for two. down the first one hits one then misses the second attempt from the line and this game folks a close one here in Salt Lake City to the middle Achua with a steal Trent against Mitchell. Pass to Flynn. Outside Ananobi. Now here's Trent. There's the triple. Gets the three to fall. Trent's got 14. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Outside Conley. And here's Mitchell. The three ball. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got three assists now in this one. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Here's Flynn. He's got five. Here's Achua. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Seven points in the game. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Outside Mitchell. Bogdanovich down low. He's covered by Siakam. Back to Mitchell. Six to shoot. Jacks up a three. Not going to go that time. So the Raptors will take it the other way. After hitting three straight, they finally miss one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. This for the tie! And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. 
Trent's got five points in the quarter. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Outside Mitchell. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's out, out of bounds. bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. So it's Utah with it. Ooh, the pump fake. Kept the D off balance. Gave him room to work. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Pass to Achua. Mitchell against Trent. And that's a foul. Called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. He's feeling it. And Gobert with a block. What timing from Rudy. He is superb at measuring when to go after blocks. Here's Bogdanovich. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Utah. Boya Bogdanovich. At the line for two. two shots. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. Pascal, he's checked in for Utah. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. Toronto has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Mikhailuk. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. He takes it in. Ooh, it's stolen away. Right wing. Here's Flynn. He's got five. He's guarded by Conley. Oh, from deep. Donovan Mitchell with a board. Utah's gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Soft touch off the glass. Mitchell's got 21. For Toronto, they've gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Achua. Siakam with it. Shoots over Pascal. And again, no good by Toronto. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. Now here's Gobert. Just five on the clock. The three from Mitchell. It's tipped. Pass to Flynn. Here's Mikhailuk. He's guarded by Conley. Now Siakam. Over Pascal. And Siakam gets it to go. Siakam's got six. This is where Siakam is comfortable operating from. He loves going to work in the paint. Conley passes to Gobert. And they double up Gobert. Pass to Pascal. Pachua with a steal. Here's Mikhailuk. Checked by Mitchell. Here's Siakam. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Now here's Bogdanovich. He's got 19. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. 
Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Siakam against Conley from the right block. And scoring inside Siakam. Siakam's got four points now in the quarter. Strong finish. Siakam with great balance. Able to complete the play through contact. Utah calls timeout. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. here for Utah. Whiteside, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Gay comes in for Pascal. Ingles, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Oni subbed in for Conley. Here's Oni. And here's Mitchell. Pass to Oni. Outside Mitchell. Clock at six. And here's Gay. Over Boucher. Oh, he clanks that one off the back iron, and it falls. And the Jazz lead by four. Such a valuable playmaker for this team. Mitchell can get his own and get others involved as well. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. And the number 45 that Donovan Mitchell wears, it's a tribute to Michael Jordan. MJ Ward for most of his high school days while he played baseball and for a short while in the NBA. Here's Mikhail Luke. 13 points in the game. <laughs> Once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Pass to Gay. Oh, rejected by Boucher. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Here's Flynn. He's got five. And rejected! A pretty good defender. Gay using that 7-3 wingspan. Well, get that shot out of here. Mitchell into the lane. The shot's good. And you talk about that 45 that Jordan wore playing baseball. Well, Mitchell also very connected to that sport. His father, who played professionally and works in the majors currently. Yeah, and baseball, B.A. was Donovan's sport growing up. But a broken wrist his sophomore year in high school after a collision at the plate steered his path toward hoops. O'Neal, he's checked in for Oni. Watanabe's checked in for Toronto. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, the combo guard, continues to impress. An all-star caliber talent with a tremendous drive. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. Okay, outside. Wide open look. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Mitchell's got assist number seven tonight. Pass to Boucher. Birch with it. Here's Flynn. Now here's Barnes. Just five to shoot. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Fires from deep. 
counted from distance. Mitchell's got 27. Great to see Mitchell on a roll offensively. And you know his team is loving it too. Here's Flynn. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Jazz. They've gotten a lot of second chance points because of the work they've put in on the glass. It's really helped them. They've also generated a lot of points off turnovers over the course of the game tonight. And the free throw, no good. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Whiteside. Outside Mitchell. Here's O'Neal. The three is up. No good. Here's Barnes. Count it. Now just a four-point Jazz lead. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Trent. He's checked in for Toronto. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Into the lineup for the Raptors. Gary Trent Jr. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Mitchell. Outside, Ingles. Six on the shot clock. He shoots it. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Right side, Barnes. Trent with it. Ingles covering. Launches a three. Trent's shot is off. Utah's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Okay, the pass to Mitchell. It's stolen by Barnes. To the middle. Here's Watanabe. Ingles defending. Here's Trent. They get the rebound. It's Barnes on the wing. Pass to Trent. Shot clock at six. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Here's O'Neal. So far, he's averaging 11 points a game. 11 feet out. Mitchell, good. Mitchell's got 29 points. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Pass to Watanabe. And here's Trent. Now Barnes. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Barnes has got six in the quarter. The three from Mitchell. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. What determination from Mitchell. Shrugging off the foul and taking the shot. Donovan Mitchell at the line for three. That one misses. The Raptors making a switch here.
Good on the second one. And he nails the third. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Jazz. He's been an offensive force, now with over 30 points after the quarter. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So for the Raptors right now, Yuta Watanabe out there with OG Ananobi. Then there's Kim Birch, then there's Barnes, and it's Trent in at the point guard position. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Now here's Trent. Outside Barnes. Shot clock at five. That one doesn't drop. Gay with the defensive effort. Utah leading. And it's O'Neal off the drive. The quick look, no good that time. Toronto has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Here's Birch. And the lamp is good off the glass. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. For Utah, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Ananobi against Gay. And that's a foul called on OG Ananobi. That's his third foul so far. Gobert's checked in for Utah. Conley comes in for Donovan Mitchell. The Raptors also with a sub. Flynn's checked in. Raptors on D. Inside. Here's Gobert. Nice touch on the bank shot. Nice interior touch from Rudy. Good at getting ideal positioning and capitalizing. Outside Ananobi. Back to Flynn. Outside Barnes. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. I don't get it. He was so efficient in the first half. Zero turnovers. But since the break, he's been a disaster. Bogdanovich has checked in for Gay. Achua's checked in for Toronto. Pascal Siakam comes in for Barnes. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now here's Ingles. And there's a whistle. That goes on Pascal Siakam. That'll be a second foul of the game. Team second personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Ingles. To the right side. And there's the foul. It'll go on Precious Achua. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Ingles passes to Conley. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. To the paint. Pass to Flynn. Trent outside. Six to shoot. For three. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. 
Siakam with it. Defended by Bogdanovich. Trent, the pass to Ananobi. Here's Flynn. Now Achua. Back to Flynn. Rebounded by the Jazz. O'Neal's got his fifth rebound in this one. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Utah. Royce O'Neal. Two shots. First one falls for him. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And collectively, as the game has progressed, they've been shooting really well from the charity strike. Here's Flynn. He's guarded by Conley. Outside Ananobi. Back to Flynn. Trent outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocked loose. To win the drought. Another shot. Siakam with the bucket, getting it done inside. The motor Pascal has never stops, showing great activity on the glass to keep plays going. Outside, Ingles from the arc. That one's good, and it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And here's Siakam for three. It's not going to go for him. Now the Jazz take it the other way. They've led by as many as 11. When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Now here's Ananobi. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Elevating his playmaking over time, Siakam recognizes when his teammates have clean looks. Pass to O'Neal. Outside Conley. Fires the three. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Siakam's got six rebounds here tonight. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Here's O'Neal. Outside Conley. Three pointer. And Ananobi pulls it down. For Toronto, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Achua, and he converts the layup. Now just a four-point Jazz lead. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Now here's Gobert. Outside Conley. And here's Bogdanovich. The three is up. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half since then. Still waiting on number four. And Gobert with a block. Ingles with it to the left side wing. Left side Conley. Pass to Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. With good scoring moves and versatility on offense, Bogdanovich can get himself on a roll. Siakam, pass to Ananobi. Trent outside. The three. 
And Ananobi gets it to go on the assist from Trent. Ananobi's got five points now this quarter. Utah's got just one of six threes to go in the fourth. Pass to Gobert. Now here's Ingles. Here's Conley. Top of the key. Rebounded by Trent. And a bump this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Here's Flynn. Now here's Trent. Pass to Achua. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Team foul. At the line for the Raptors. Precious Achua. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw misses. The Jazz making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. And he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Pass to Ingles. Mitchell with the ball. There's the three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Ingles. Mitchell's got 34 points. And looking to shoot as many threes as possible. This kind of confidence impressive to see. And here's Trent. Siakam outside. Fires the three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's... Outside Conley. Pass to Gobert. And here's Mitchell. On the take. And that one's good. And now it's an eight-point Utah lead. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. And Toronto calls time here. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. presence felt on the inside just so active and looking all game long for openings and he found them by scoring a lot of baskets by slashing to the hoop the Jazz making a switch here O'Neal's checked in gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with this player he told them he likes what he's seeing inside saying quote stay on the attack getting to the rim is working for us right now attack until they stop us guys Appreciate the report, Allie. Here's Conley. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. And the Jazz lead by 10. Conley loves that pull-up jumper. When the defense least expects it, he sticks it to him. Trent on the wing. Checked by Mitchell. Trent against Mitchell. Back to Flynn to stop the run. Nails it from three. One this half, two for the game. Stay active from beyond the arc. Hope loose. Mitchell, the pass to Conley. 
And it's Bogdanovich that time on the assist by Conley. Bogdanovich has got 23 points. A more physical player at this stage of his career. Boyan is not bothered by the contact on that shot. Gobert against Achua. Siakam outside. From deep three-point range, Donovan Mitchell with a board. For Utah, they've gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. To the inside. Here's Gobert. And it's rejected. Here's Flynn. He's guarded by Conley. Fires from the line. And it comes off the front of the rim. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Conley. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. And it's an 11-point Utah lead. What you like about Conley, he has a nice assortment of shots in that mid-range area. Here's Siakam. Yep, count it. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Utah is shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. A minute and a half left in the fourth. Pass to Gobert. Achua with some nice D. Toronto shooting 41% here in the fourth. Now here's Trent. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. And Utah calls time here. They're ahead by nine. There's a minute 12 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And your chance, Dancer. Now here's Conley, guarded closely. Outside Bogdanovich, pass to Mitchell. Now Conley. And he's going for the lob! And Mitchell with the slam. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Jazz. And a big part of their success was the second chance buckets they secured tonight. Yeah, it's just proof that being aggressive on the boards can pay game-winning dividends. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Donovan Mitchell. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. And it's the Raptors with the ball, following the bucket by the Jazz. Outside Ananobi. Clock at six. Steps back and fires. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Relentless offensive effort from Pascal Siakam. Sending the ball right back with an emphatic slam. So we see the Jazz get the win here. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. 
and it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Mike, congrats on the win. What's it like playing with a team that is this tied together? I feel great, man. It's fun. It's fun to be around these guys. It's fun to, to play jazz basketball when that ball moves and guys are so unselfish. And, um, you know, that's why I'm here. I love to be a part of it. You can tell you're clicking on all cylinders. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. So long, everybody.